Hello, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also the notification bell uh, to remind you of up and coming videos. And thank you so much um, for those of you who hit the like button. It really helps the videos to get in the algorithm and get out there and share the information. So thank you so much. And your beautiful messages and comments as well. Thank you. The support's amazing. Um, thank you. Um, and you're all enjoying it, so that's great. Now we're going to do a reading for the new moon uh, that's happening on the 17th of July. And why I wanted to bring this out for you is to really for you to understand the energies, what's going on, to harness those energies so that you can move into your full potential. So basically, as you know, when I talk about these things, these transits and things that are happening astrologically, I keep it really simple. There's no point going into very detailed information and every aspect because majority of people don't understand that. So I try to keep it really, really simple. So basically, guys, we've got a new moon happening. It is preparing us for the 8-8 eight, eight Lions Gate, and that's I'll talk about that in a minute for those of you who don't know what that is at the moment though we're moving into this energy where there's a grand cross right on the new moon new moons and new beginnings reset cycles all of that now because we're in 2023 we do have the seven the year of the seven which is spiritual contracts destiny fate karma all of that stuff so we're experiencing a spiritual um energetic um, evolution anyway in our spiritual contracts and things like that but now we've got this new moon hitting just before the 88 lines gate that is a grand cross now this hits every major pillar of your life relationships career comfort zones all of it and what it is about it is destiny altering it is self-actualizing you now into who you are to be. Um, and what this destiny altering issue or experience is so that you can now be pushed by the universe, the divine, the higher up, your higher self, all of the above, into your own personal soul's journey. Hence why at the moment you're feeling a lot of time where you may want to be um, in your own energy or you should be in your own energy. You should be spending time alone away from everybody's energy. You should be hermiting, quiet, uh, detoxing, grounding um, and clearing out your energy to get your vibration away from every distortion and distraction so that then you can get a clear, a clear let's call it a clear vibrational frequency, clear line and um, utilize this energy to help you move and see into your own personal soul's journey, okay? These are going to be um, the mover and shaker of you into that self-actualization, all right? Now, why I'm saying those words, at your own personal soul's journey, we do not utilize these energies to empower us over others, to take from others, to conjure things in to help us evolve. That is not of the light. That is not how the light works. Okay? If you are sitting there calling in and conjuring in and, 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 and sending things out there and, and all of that, you are not in the light. You are using the frequency for lower vibrational purposes and that is what you will get. That is the best advice I can give you. These, these activations and energies and, and moons and cycles that we talk about are supposed to be used for you, your own energy. It's a clarifying your energy. It's to clarify your energy. It is to 
rebirth, reset your energy so that your energy is so clear and purified, your alignment just goes straight into actual true alignment. And you, you are in that and then your frequency around your beliefs and your programming, meaning the work you've done, the wisdom, the mastery, that's how you get natural upgrades. That is working through the light. There is no pushing and there is no resistance. It's, it's all being in that energy. So you're basically just sitting there in the most purified energy of nothingness of all that is energy. And you're not thinking or doing or trying. You are just clearing that energy. That puts you into purification of energy and alignment. And it's like wanting nothing but gaining all. Does it, does, I hope I've said that the right way. Um, so then your frequency is then, um, we'll use the word um, anointed or, or gifted or talented, uh, sorry, gifted or activated talents, gifts, um, or ascensions into new levels naturally through the vibrational frequency of the divine because it can see, feel your vibration level, understanding, mastery, you know, of your beliefs and programs and authenticity and or purification and all of that. So that's how we get natural ascensions. We don't get it by calling things in and shaking up, um, you know, and and conjuring basically. You know, if you're if you're in that vibration, see, a lot of people do not understand what working in the light actually is. And we've had many modalities and practices come in where, you know, they're saying, I, you know, this ascension, it is a natural process. And the natural process harmonizes into full alignment when you are completely purified in your truth, can see your truth and speak your truth and live your truth and walk your truth in the creator's truth, not your truth the creator's truth, spirit's truth. And that is full of um, sacrifice and, and taking the higher ground and working with nature and all sorts of things in a harmonious, protective, nurturing, abundant for all energy not taking what's not yours, not trying to get what's not yours, not trying to make something that's not for you. So sit deeply with that um, because that will help you get a higher alignment and a more through a more pure alignment, okay? <clears throat> and it helps with we're in the quantum field now. We are stepping into realms that we... Um, have never been in before and quantum means endless. So we are now learning a whole new level of, um, and we don't know what's involved in those levels. So just, it's best to be in your own purified alignment. So let the divine, let, let the energy align you. Oh, because the other thing that can do, if you're pushing beyond or you open up so much, um, but and you have this amazing, let's pretend, energy or upgrade or whatever, and then you've got to come back down to earth and you've got no wisdom, no mastery, no belief systems. You've never experienced that before. It is going to bring you into absolute chaos and karma and attachments and energy attachments. So be careful, maybe you can open up, maybe you can utilize that in whatever way you want. But what uh, what's going to happen when you come down with a thud? It's like when you <laughs> buy too many things and can't carry them to the car, you know, um, uh, shift, lift something really heavy that you can't, can't carry. 
and you haven't had the experience, the training, the knowledge, the wisdom, or the vibrational frequency to deal with it. But it doesn't mean we can't go in it. But they're not thinking of the after effect and what you've now brought through. Like, can I handle this? Do I have? That's why if you get in purified alignment, of your natural the universe knows the energy behind your belief systems it knows the energy behind your intentions your thoughts your your wisdom your mastery your lessons your learning your growth and it that can up, that's why you get an upgrade naturally because you can handle it you've mastered the level like everything you don't start jogging and do 40 k's on the first job you'll you'll be you know, it, it's you've got to think of it in the same way. That's the only way I can explain it at the moment <laughs> on a Sunday morning. <laughs> okay, now the other thing is um, we've got one and a half years of rapid life path changing events. We have the North Node in Aries, Aries um, and we have the South Node in, in Libra, sorry, um, and from the 20... 2023 to 2024. Now, the South Node in Libra is going to undo all past associations um, and past decisions, agreements, and what took you off path. Who, what, when, where, why took you off path. Um, that is going to be corrected in these upgrades, okay? Also, I want you to look at an 18-year timeline. 18 years ago, 2005, six, I think that is roughly. Um, that cycle as well is coming to a completion, a learning, um, and also or anything in that time. So if you go, oh, I haven't been around that long and whatever, um, then whatever has been happened. So that's why we've got a lot of um, karma facing it. You know, karma is lessons, it's reflection. It puts you in the space of learning um, and it puts you through it to learn it because you're not learning it generally. Good karma's good karma. You learnt it, you get a reward, but, you know, the negative karma puts you in it to learn it because whatever past decisions you've made, agreements or decisions that took you off your own personal, personal soul's journey is now going to be destiny altering, altered, de altered destiny. Say that however you like. Now... <laughs> The other thing I want to say is to utilize this um, and now on the new moon would be really good to do your work and purify and hermitize and, and protect your energy and clean your energy and ground your energy um, in preparation for the 8-8's Lion's Gate, which is something that is like, it's a, it goes back to the ancient Egyptian and the pyramid days. Um, way, 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 way back and lots of cultures, lots of religions do utilise this alignment, planetary alignment, star alignment, energetic alignment to um, for ceremony, special, special, sacred ceremonies. Let me repeat that. Sacred ceremonies that were performed by High priests and priestess, like medicine, um, chiefs, like medicine uh, shamans, um, uh, very uh, who had very ancient wisdom. So that's how powerful it is. It wasn't just, you know, not everybody was just allowed to do it. You had to be a very high ranking spiritual wisdom powerful wisdom to do these ceremonies on on these people so unless you are some anointed <clears throat> ancient civilized tribal elder <laughs> um you know you shouldn't be really you know going beyond what you you can do in that energy just and this is for your safety and your protection um 
but the 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 energy alignment is just it's upgrading you the universe the frequencies the frequencies of the universe everything nature everything so it's very very powerful and it needs to be respected honored and sacred so if you are not some high ranking elder master master of something then you just need to do the the personal thing that we talked about purifying your getting in that energy alignment and allowing it to upgrade you to the frequencies that your cells and dna and your energy can tolerate take and master the next level there's a there's a lot of people out there that you know they try to you know use this as windows of opportunity to you know they they you know see the truth here, that's the truth is people will use this as windows of opportunity to, um, you know, they're in their ego and it's about power and that's where all the dark magic and, you know, all that spell work and ritual work and, you know, they're in the envy and power and ego. It's actually all about opening up your heart this energy vibration, that's why we talk about purifying, grounding, being in your own energy, no distortion, no interference from anybody else's energy, DNA, beliefs, programming, anything like that. You just stay in your own energy and, and get in this alignment. <clears throat> that's what we mean by purify. And um, you can open your heart to clear deception self-deception and others deception that's how you do it um now yes yeah, see and moving on into the light see out of the shadow into the light here and that's the truth the truth's coming out all um oh and that's something there is no more fear there will be no more fear and you you do not feel fear in that energy when you're in light energy there is no fear um because you feel so warm and protected and you know you're such in truth it's it's a harmonization harmonizing with the with nature it's it's really interesting energy to be in um beautiful energy you never want to come out actually <laughs> um there's no more fear restriction or boundaries as as this energy comes in so um all the deception and anywhere you've deceived yourself or others it's coming out spiritual warfare is out the light will upgrade it so anywhere anyone has had spiritual warfare put on them it will now be be returned to sender it's over uh, whatever you cycled in and the light will um, triumph over this down but because we've come to such a high frequency and um, <clears throat> or you have or you've done your work see that will all depend on your natural upgrade um, where seven see triumph spiritual and your natural upgrade is so it's kind of I'll, I'll use the word judged by the divine but it's really a frequency realignment so wherever spell work and and um, dark work you know the dark will collect the light is upgrading um, and so therefore it's all done and dusted and where you're at vibrationally will be where you're let's call it judged or realigned to all righty so that's uh what they call return to sender um because spirit with this upgrade brings in fulfillment of wishes um regain regaining strength and power um and the universe is redeeming um basically so that you can see something clearly now by redeeming also we're talking about bringing in the balance of cause and effect you know and this is where people um another thing i'll add in here they tend to um being in the light is not your own um how do i want to say this um the spirit saying 
you know, being in the e ego is good. We need ego. There's nothing wrong with ego, but they're using the ego to tell, I'm ready for this and I'm ready for the next and I'm ready for an upgrade and I can pull in this energy and watch how powerful I am. You know, you are an unlimited energy, but, um, but you know, it is governed by spiritual laws and you should be doing those things um, and evolving naturally through the sp natural spiritual laws and cycles. Um, and then you're working in harmony with the with the divine and um, and the highest good of all and you're not interfering um, and creating distortion and and putting things out of balance because everything is in harmonic flight all the time it is in this balance um, mastery there's higher angels see crown chakra that bring through the the light the gifts the talents the messages they bring you this this um, spiritual strength in um, but our ego our free will can get in the way of that and we create distortion in the overall um, frequency of the of the universe so that's why it's all about getting out of the ego and into the heart and all of that energy so um let's get a message hope so you know remember oh, look at that okay look at the light coming through look at the light here Oh, okay. Spiritual, um, Spirit just said so for ascension as well into next natural levels of our light frequency evolution into your soul's journey or your highest heart activation so that you can clear any deception. What that takes is structure in your life loyalty, stability, and the main one, discipline. This is where people get pulled off into lower vibrational paths, karmics, frequencies, lessons, off paths, out of, off track, wherever you went off track, and that's what's being re, re, realigned, right? We do that through lack of discipline. And lack of loyalty to ourselves, others, vice versa, to spirit, to our alignment, to our soul's journey and structure. So when you're when you can't build anything without structure, loyalty, stability, and discipline. So, and that goes for partnerships, that goes for light spiritual ascension, that goes for your gifts and talents, that goes for your um relationships um to be in your high, highest timeline and be in alignment and anywhere and everywhere that you where you're sorry where you're going into the light now um it's like the next ascension process for a lot of you and i, I feel i'm talking more to light workers or people who have done their work or people who are now going to be ascended or anointed naturally from the divine um, and going to shift into a you know a, a next high level. We're talking, I feel like we're talking to our high priestesses, high priestess, my emperors, my empress and empresses, sorry. Um, the, the universe is going to bring in a layer of protection now because um, of where you're going and the level of frequency only so so you're not affected so you you cannot get karma they're only going to bring in people places and situations that give structure loyalty stability and discipline because that's the only thing you can build in and when you're in that higher frequency or you've got um, a soul's journey in some spiritual calling or or whatever or um your job is to um so you can do your job spirit said so you can do your job and do it properly so 
let's use an example. I'm waffling on here. I'm trying to listen to spirit. Um, basically, if it's a relationship, that relationship can only form with you if it's got um, can clear deception. I'm talking mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So if you're in a partnership, let's say, or you're going to go into one, they have to have structure, discipline, loyalty, and stability. Nothing else will work if they don't have those. There is a big emotional loss coming in for this new moon and it is about partnerships and alliances. So the, 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 a truth is going to be exposed and everybody's mask is coming off. Everything that was done in the dark will come to light and everywhere you were taken off path, whether it was you or others or you made those decisions to bring you into harmonic union with yourself, with your part, with your personal soul's journey and into your destiny and new beginnings look at this and that's where love begins okay so see they're both pouring into the river they've both got an equal hand on that so um yes there's going to be disruption and distortion and breaking down of beliefs of systems, of structures, seven, sixteen to seven, obstacles and challenges, and yes, many decisions are being um, made now, choices as well around you or will have to. Anywhere you're discontent and bored, that is why, because spirit's trying to get you back on path and suffering in silence here. Um, heartache and loss, mental conflict. So anywhere you've got any of that going on or mental conflict at this stage of where you're going where you should this heart activation is coming and anywhere you're trapped in fear this heart activation which is everything we just talked about that those energy alliances is going to bring you so into your heart now you won't be able to even lie to yourself and now there will be choosing paths and directions. Yes, you do have free, some free will in that. Okay. Sacral chakra, soul's journey, sacral. Uh, so, soul, sorry, sacral, not sacral. Solar plexus. Okay, so soul's journey, third eye, and awareness awakening. Massive. Rest and rejuvenate. Exactly what we said. Rest and rejuvenate. Get your energy. Sit in nature by yourself. Get out of everybody's energy and any temptations and distractions. Any frequency that is trying to tempt you, lure you, seduce you, bring you into lower toxic frequencies. Okay? Now, foundation and achievements. And this is where prosperity begins. And this is what we're talking about. Structure loyalty, stability, and discipline. So not being around someone who's going to allow spiritual attack onto you, not being around someone who's not protecting your energy, not being, you, you, it's, you, you are now getting the opposite. You now need to be around people who are going to do this for you. And that falls into the categories of, you know, people, um, playing people off and using people and, you know, um, um, utilising and energy harvesting and bouncing between um, people to I've just got these beautiful cards here and I'm just going to read this. It just says, um, the keeper of the white ascension flame in Atlantis. Okay, the fourth ray of harmony. We talked about the four directions yesterday, the four archangels coming in. He is known as the, the, as the Egyptian because he has worked with Archangel Metatron to, and the Great Pyramids with cosmic wisdom and energy at a time of, of its construction. Okay, drawing this card, you are invited to stand within the white flame and feel its influence. Connect and draw this energy, the energies of their wisdom, cooperation and dedication to you. So again, 
the wisdom here and the upgrades and the protections comes from people who are in cooperation and dedication to you and vice versa. Okay. Let's get one more of these. So new beginnings, guys. Very new, new. Um, it'll clear deception. Um, what else? Anything else? I've take you out of comfort zones. What else have I written up? Um, that's way too many. So basically the fourth and fifth ray, and we've got some blue light, loving, healing energy coming here, Palladian energy. We have Sirius, the star system, and we have the Archangels and the Sphinx. So the yeah, so there we go. There, there's some big energies coming in in alignment, and they're all very to do with the Egyptians and also Palladies, Sirius, the stars, the alignments, the higher galactic. So let's read the bottom of this. I open myself to the wisdom and the guidance of the energy, the light. I open my heart and love and healing to the Palladies. I open, I open to the higher wisdom of Cirrus and also I visit Archangel or whatever angel who comes to you to help you or protect you or ascend you. Um, and in my sleep tonight or in this meditation or connection, I connect to the God force with the Sphinx. So there, if they, any of those resonate to you or maybe, you, you know, some are about geometric shapes, others are colours here, others are science, knowledge, wisdom, opening up your higher con your consciousness to higher channels like clairvoyancy. So, you know, if you're experiencing any of these things, and the Sphinx is about the connection to the earth, the portal of wisdom linked to the ascended aspect of Mars. And this can radiate oneness and peace um, throughout the universe. Yeah, wow, beautiful. I express myself creatively and harmoniously. Carry the flame. It's helping to set you free. So the flame to set you free. So there we go. We've got a lot of ascended masters coming in here now. Um, and the amethyst skull is all about before I make decisions, gather the information, sit in that solitude, get the facts and the and the wisdom and, and stay within integrity. So that's what it calls for. The earth needs this and your connection to the earth. Lady Gaia, we thank you for inviting me to be on earth. So there, this is all about sacred respect of um, energy frequency of the archangels of the ascended masters of ancient you know um, the ancient ones um, that are constantly trying to keep us um, uh, bring us sorry into the golden age yeah so I'm going to wrap it up there because I think I've look at that moving on Moving forward, getting all the tools, skills, knowledge, wisdom, and moving forward. So I hope that helped, guys. Look, if I get any more, yeah, into harmonious union, higher unions, higher paths, soul contracts. You know, this isn't soulmates. This is two of cups. This is about your higher divine soul's purpose, path, partnerships, unions, into empress energy birthing the new and moving forward and look at the success and the sun and the alignment and the illumination um, and it's time to take action there and move forward confidently into that and anywhere you've been restricted not wanting to look at it or hesitant or needed to gather the information looks like you've got clarity all right, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. If I bring out another, if I get sort of guided to bring another message out before the 8 8, I will do that. But hopefully, that's just going to help you understand how to, you know, really harness some pure energy. But it has to be done with great respect of the light. And the light is 
out of ego and really purified, not having any intention with it, but all loving attention, uh, intention with it. Um, and it's not even really about us. It's about um, healing others and the earth and keeping a high frequency away from the dark, the lower, the toxic, um, that, that, you know, our world experiences. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Bye for now. Bye.